from the marketing campaign, um, you know, what have you done to alleviate some of that resistance? Well, you know, there's initially there were some questions about how how important is this information? Do we really want the federal government um, having this type of information? Is it really going to work for us or does it work against us? And so we've had to spend some time with, with some individuals. I think using trusted messengers, having tribal leaders in public service announcements, mm -hmm. um, having an open dialogue, answering questions, providing people with materials uh, material. that are easy to read and easy to understand that look like them um, is, is critically important. Um, you know, what, what I'd hoped was that we would have more television advertising, um, advertisement campaigns that were reaching our tribal populations because the one thing about California Indians in particular and all American Indians is there isn't just one radio station or one, right. or one um, you know, TV station and we're, we're a very um, spread out population and the majority of us are living off reservation. So we had to use some really strategic ways in which to outreach. Um, the PSAs that we created are, are wonderful. Unfortunately, they haven't been broadcast on television. So we've had to use social media and websites and other forms in which to get those out um, to our communities. And so we're hoping that, you know, in the future, maybe for 2020, that we can have a advertising budget and campaign that really reaches out to our communities. Oh, great. So we have another, we have another video um, that you've brought, and would you like to introduce that? Sure. That video, um, the next video is um, Juana Mahol, who is the Area Vice President for the National Congress of American Indians. She's also the, um, a member from the Palma um, Indian Reservation, the Palma Tribe, and is their legislative council. And she has been a strong advocate for the, the census. She works with on a number of issues and especially domestic violence, um, native domestic violence issues. So she knows how important yeah, I grants. Yeah, I was um, lucky to meet her at yeah. one of the conferences in Palm Springs. So She's yeah. fantastic. And so she um, did a public service announcement for us and that's what we're gonna see right oh, now. Great. This is a body, the U.S. Census, that focus for the benefit of the government of the United States to get an accurate account, well then we need to be a part of it. We need to get it right. It's a safe thing to do. Ten questions. That's all you have to answer is ten questions. That information will not be shared with anyone. No tribal council, no tribal member, nobody, not even the president. I'm Indian. I count. She's an effective speaker, isn't she? Yeah. We, um, that's one of the taglines that we developed. We are Indian, we count. I am Indian, I count. And we want Indian people to know that they count and to know that they matter, and this is critical, um, that they participate. Oftentimes we're overlooked. We're oftentimes in, in, you know, invisible in, in communities, in universities, in government, right. um, in urban environments. And so having um, the messaging say, I am Indian, I count, really inspires people. And, you know, to watch some of these PSAs, to, to watch each tribal leader say that tagline at the end, everyone says it different. Some folks said, I am Indian, I count. Some folks said, I am Pachanga, I count. Some folks said, I am... Um, Payunquichim, which is the traditional way, the indigenous way of saying Luceno. Um, so it was, it was really kind of neat to see how people um, were inspired to, to face the camera and say, I am Indian and yeah, I can. It, it seems like, you know, it's a, you know, really an act of an empowerment to be able to say that. Right. So um, is there going to be any kind of formal follow-up after the census, if, um, in, census is gathered um, and, you know, looking in with tribal leaders um, or the tribal community and some of the census directors and to see what has worked and what hasn't and looking into 2020, you know, how things could be improved. Well, you know, I've been asked this question quite a bit lately from tribal leaders. Um, they have some concerns about the census. Um, I'm sure there are things that we could always do better. And I think it's important for the census to hold um, discussions 
um, sooner rather than later as to what worked mm -hmm. and what didn't work so as to not repeat those mistakes. And I anticipate that those will happen um, probably this summer. I'm not sure specific, on specifics yet, but um, we will let you know because this is something that tribal leaders and tribal community members have been asking about. Um, we want to make sure that we go over what we did and, and make sure that, you know, the trust issues were right. um, solidified and protected. We want to make sure that our outreach efforts were effective. And we also want to hear the criticisms, and I'm sure that there will be some, um, so that we can be sure to improve upon um, our data collection, because our goal is to get 100% accurate count. And I know that in 2020, um, that's going to be our goal, and we're going to you know, take what we did in 2010 and amplify that to make sure that right. we get 100% count. Okay, and then, you know, maybe, um, you, you know, it's understood that, that California has been split between the L.A. region and then in the north, it's Seattle. So one of the things that could be considered and voiced during that time would be the um, not splitting the state. Yeah, I know we talked earlier and your children are members of um, tribal communities from the northern part of the state and, um, you know, how important it is for California Indians to stick, to stick together, especially in the national and the nice. international arena. So this was a an important issue that was recently brought up, and tribal governments um, met with Director Groves in October at the National Congress of American Indians. Um, we had California tribal governments um, meet with him, and they told him that they would like to see the state of California in terms of outreaching to tribes be put back together. Um, and our colleagues and our tribal counterparts in the central and northern part of the state would like that to happen as well. So I'm sure they're going to be speaking with him and his staff, and um, that dialogue is, is going to continue. But I, I would like to see it put back together. I, I think that's important. I know that my colleagues who are, you know, Pomo and Wintu and Modoc, um, have more of an affinity and a relationship with being a California Indian with Southern California Indians right. than they do with the Seattle Territory. So I just think for our purposes and, and making sure that we get an accurate count and outreach efforts that we have the state back together. So we'll be signing off now. So if you had an outgoing message that you can give to the community uh, regarding the census, that would be great. Well, it's not too late. Mail back.